Right, Cornwall 2007. I'm down in Cornwall and I do a revisit to Pentuan near the end of my stay down there. Just because you never you you don't always capture it all the first time round. It's nice to go and have another look, and I and I want to go back again even even now. Right, so here we go then. because there's still an hour yet before it's dark. I don't want to be going in my van for five hours yet. So I thought I'd go and have another little walk and then I'll nip in the pub. Right, I'm back for a little walk in the evening in Pentuan or Penvan, whatever you call it. Um, village and beach and harbour. So I saw some pictures today of well about 150 years ago what this place looked like. The boats were actually going right up the channel into the main harbour. It was busy. They were exporting all sorts of things. I think it was um, something to do with ch you know, China and, and pottery in that, you know, like, I don't really know what they were doing, but <laughs> China clay, is it? And they were importing stuff, and the railway came here, it was really busy, and um, let's see if I can find a stone to take back, and now it's just, what I'm walking on now, like the harbour wall, you know, it all been done up, and no, it's just a crumbling wreck, really. It's being reclaimed by the sea. It's not being maintained anymore. They also showed pictures of, you know, in Victorian times, people bathing here as well. It was a really busy place. Really busy. And I've come here, not just for Zara, I suppose in a strange way. I'm I'm doing it for Pete as well. I don't know if he ever knew about any of this. You know, his history, he might have done. He might have known about all this. Oh, I'm up quite high, I feel scared. To get blown off. Yeah, I don't know whether he knew about all this. This is where the boats would have come up and they would have unloaded the cargo. You see the the remains at the moment, and um, the harbour wall and everything. One day it'll all be gone. The concrete will be washed and eroded. I'm just walking down. I don't know if the tape will pick up the sea. And I'm just going to walk down a bit further, which I didn't do yesterday. I'm going in the pub, but of course you can't have a fag, so it'll be a quick half of Guinness. I might even go outside and drink it. I just want to go and have a look inside the pub. So apparently there was an, you know, an anti-drinking campaign at one point. Although it's always been a heavy drinking place with sailors and all that sort of thing coming from different countries delivering things. There was um, a temperance movement here, and uh, yeah, there was sort of almost anti-drinking. It's interesting. But uh, anyway, I'm right down here near the edge of the sea. This is Zara's country. This isn't even anything to do with me. This tree, what I'm doing, but I feel a part of it. I wish it was mine, really. I'd love to have family down here. It's 
see if we'll pick up the C. so I kept quiet for a minute. Just going to have a little wander and then I'll, I might just nip in there and have half a Guinness. Might be full of yuppie guppies now though, isn't it? This evening. You know, all the, the knobs drinking in there. Far ridden from the days of... Uh, I'll find a stone, far ridden from the days of the, the old sailors. After a hard day's work, going down the pub for their well-earned grog. Hey, I'll find a stone anyway. Pretty little stone. Alright, I think that'll do now. Off to the pub. <coughs> right. Yesterday I went off to the pub. The um can't remember what it's called. No, it could have been the ship in I can't remember, I think. Yeah, it could have been the ship in. Went in there and had a pint of Guinness and had a chat with a few people. It's um goes back to some very ancient uh, pub anyway. Hundred years hundreds of years old with all the original beams and everything. Uh, very nicely laid out, not too damaged. Um, lots of pictures and uh, memorabilia all around it of the, the port when it was uh, active and all that sort of thing. They do meals in there as well. So I might possibly go back there. I also decided when I got back to camp to go to um, the, the club on site and had a chat with the people that run the clubhouse and that and I had a couple of ports and that only had a couple um, went and sat out on the patio area for a fag of course and then I um, slept really well those two ports knocked me right out plus the pint of Guinness so um, that was really good and the only problem I've done I'm doing my village tours and I'm hoping there'll be... I stopped at a garage and didn't think about a camera. Which is so annoying. Really is annoying. Anyway, I'm going on the village tour today. And I'm at St. U. I don't know if you pronounce it like that. But it's um, E-W-E. Um, I, fa I found traces of um, the Barbaries here. Um, so I'm going to go and have a look around this little church which has got a spire as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going around the various villages where they were located in the parish reg registers at St. Austell. So it's the 4th of October 2007. It's uh, nearly half past nine in the morning. It's a sunny day and good weather is predicted. Right, I'm going to do St. U also on a separate um, recording back in 2007. So I'm stopping this one now.